As the IACUC and IRB post-approval monitors, Ray and I visit with ISU researchers to verify compliance with approved protocols and regulations. We also provide education and training to investigators who work with animals or human subjects. Kara and I both work within the Office of Research Ethics. In this video, we'll introduce you to our office and its mission, explain a bit more about the iCook and IRB, and provide resources and contact information for you to use as you plan your research at Iowa State. The ORE's mission is to assist the Office of Vice President for Research in providing an ethical research environment that fosters honesty, integrity, and a sense of community. The ORE ensures that university research conducted on or off Iowa State's campus, including collaborative research with other institutions, is conducted in compliance with university, local, state, federal, and funding agency regulations. The four compliance committees at Iowa State include the Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee, or the IACUC, which reviews research, teaching, and testing with live vertebrate animals. The Institutional Review Board, or IRB, which reviews human subjects research. The Institutional Biosafety Committee, or IBC, which reviews research involving biohazardous materials such as recombinant and synthetic nucleic acid molecules, toxins, and pathogens. And the Radiation Safety Committee, or RSC, which reviews work with radioactive materials or radiation producing devices. All undergraduate students and graduate students, professional and scientific staff and faculty conducting research in any of these areas are required to obtain necessary approvals before initiating research and data collection. The purpose of the IACUC is to ensure the humane care and use of animals in research, teaching and testing Activities that require prior IACUC approval include research, including field studies and clinical trials, the use of blood donor animals, breeding colonies, scheduled courses, and continuing education offerings. IACUC approval is required prior to beginning any live vertebrate animal work. An amendment to your protocol must be submitted and approved prior to implementing any changes to your study plan. The IACUC office is always here to help if you have any questions throughout the process and beyond. Please do not hesitate to contact us. The IRB is charged with protecting human subjects research participants and ensuring that Iowa State is in compliance with regulations. If you plan to conduct human subjects research during your time at Iowa State, remember these takeaways. First, IRB approval is required for research with human subjects, terms that are specifically defined in the federal regulations. If your project meets the definition of human subjects research, then you must submit an application for IRB review and approval. Second, IRB approval must be obtained before beginning any human subjects research activities. Regulations prohibit retroactive approval, meaning we can't work backwards. And conducting human subjects research prior to IRB approval is considered non-compliance, which we never like to see. Third, IRB staff are here to help. Please contact us anytime you have questions about your research plans. Thank you for listening. We hope this video introducing the Office of Research Ethics has been informative. We focus primarily on the IACUC and IRB, but as a reminder, our office also supports the Institutional Biosafety Committee and the Radiation Safety Committee, as well as programs in conflict of interest and commitment, expert controls, and unmanned aircraft systems. Please feel free to contact us anytime you have questions about conducting research at Iowa State University.